the women's 60-meter dash. Hannah Tunlip ran 7.07, then turned pro for after her time at Oregon. Makia Brookins is the NCAA meet record. Makaya Briscoe, who really, really struggled yesterday and barely made the final. There is her, there is her teammate, one of three teammates here, uh, Leah Hobbs, a senior. She is very reliable in this 60-meter dash. Well, she ran 7.12 yesterday, four of the eight competitors. It took him personal best to get through to the finals, and she was the most consistent Lady Tiger yesterday. And when she can get a good to an average start, she's always in contention to win. She's got such great top end speed, just like Elijah Hall we saw in the last heat. And there we get a look at Kate Hall. She had a fantastic prelim yesterday, ran 7.17 as a personal becker, seasonal best and a personal best. But the question is, Makaya Brook, Makaya Briscoe, excuse me, you know, she looked a little shaky at the end of her 60. She didn't make it through in the 200, and everybody wondered what's going on with her. She's had a lot of races this season. Four LSU Tigers in this final. Hobbs with a great reaction to the gun. Briscoe stumbles out there in lane one into Leah Hobbs and Makaya Briscoe. Briscoe almost gets it. She's a totally different runner from yesterday. She was a time qualifier for the prelims, and today LSU goes 1 2. 7 0 oh, 7. That ties the collegiate record run, run by Hannah Cunliffe earlier this season. Aliyah Hobbs wins the race and sets the collegiate record. Well, if this is any indication on how this day is going to go, everybody is saving their best for the last meet of this indoor season. Aliyah Hobbs absolutely nails that start, as does Micaiah Briscoe on the inside. And when Hobbs can get a good start, nobody can catch her. There you see Makaya Briscoe on the far right. I thought she might sneak in just as, just as we said what was wrong with her. Wouldn't surprise us to see her win that championship. But wonderful photo. Nobody dips like the Tigers, that's for sure. And some very, very needed points from these two from LSU. Speaking of points, 21 points for LSU. They went first, second, seventh, and eighth. Auburn with a strong performance from Natalia White and Janelle Smith in third and fourth. But Aliyah Hobbs, not only the winner, she is now tied for the collegiate record, and she's downstairs with John. All right, that took 7.07 seconds, but Aliyah Hobbs assures me explaining how that race went will take longer. Tell me a good story about those 60 meters. Um, I really feel like that was the best race I've executed <laughs> from the start to the finish. I feel like I got out really well. Mm -hmm. That's what Coach said. He said, make sure you get out. Make sure you run through the line. So as I was getting to the end, I actually started trying to go a little fast instead of, you know, just keeping the same pace. So, yeah, it was, I executed it perfectly. You tied a collegiate record. What's that mean to us? Yeah, it's amazing. I really did think it was going to be that fast at first. Now look, I'm like, oh, okay. Now I saw Makaya come, I'm like, okay, yeah, that I didn't think it was going to be that fast, honestly. I knew it was going to be a fast race, but I think it will going to be that fast. It was that fast. Aaliyah Hobbs, champions at 60 meters. And a note for Makaya Briscoe, who is second, she becomes the first woman ever to score four years, all four years, in this event. So the second place finisher also with quite an accomplishment.